Brawlers, baby. You're watching the Brawler Sports Boxing Show podcast, starring CEO Rick Muhammad. The Brawler Sports Boxing Show podcast. Let's go, Jack. Let's talk about Abimbola Abel Osendaro, champion of the USA Boxing Elite Men's 189 pounds, 86 kilogram division competition, which was held at the Shreveport Convention Center, Louisiana, in December 2021, has expressed a strong desire to represent West Africa at the upcoming 2024 Olympics in Paris, France. His passion for pursuing boxing continues to ignite his purpose, especially after a deep reflection on the much development needed on the continent of Africa. A tour of the West African region this year revealed this. Olson Dardo of Team Abel is now more than ever empowered to be the voice of Africa globally through the influence of the sports boxing. He will continually inspire his generation as the son from Africa in the diaspora. He encourages the youth to diligently follow their passion to the point of global recognition with purpose. He states that with focus and discipline, you can achieve and accomplish all you can set your mind to become. During the tour, he called on African decision makers and leaders to allocate more resources to develop the underprivileged talents, including facilities to assist coaching in West African sports, fitness, and the arts. Olsen Dairo is currently committed to training and mental development as he makes room for his professional boxing career. He has developed the drive, mental capacity, physique, exposure, and is open to representing West Africa at the Olympics in 2024. The Chicago-based boxer, who is also an actor, has debuted in a lead role for friends, family, and lovers, and starred in other Hollywood productions. Not only is he knowledgeable about different languages, Yoruba, Swahili, Bante, Twi, Igbo, Spanish, and English, his dedication to Africa extends into the community. As a way of giving back, Olsen Dairo volunteers time doing trips to train people of the Army Sports Center under Coach Mohammed in Nigeria. He also spent time in Ghana familiarizing with local talent in Bukom, Jamestown, and at the Health Paradise Facility Center Fitness Center at the Cape Coast Stadium. Pre-COVID, Olsen Dairo and his brothers launched a medical outreach program. The target is the population at risk of hypertension, which is the single most common risk factor for stroke, chronic disease, and heart failure among adults in West Africa. He believes in discipline and commitment to everything he does. He says, with time, training, mental transformation, and investment to produce results, Africa can be great again. Let's break the odds and make a remarkable representation on the global stage. The music and entertainment industry is already making evident and global progress. The time is now. Well said. Let's go, champ. What's going on, boxing fans? It's your boy, Rick Muhammad, Brawler Sports Media in the building. I'm in the building with Boxing Sensation, uh, amateur come from a good amateur pedigree of boxing all the way from west africa uh representing ghana nigeria and all of his fellow countrymen if you will my man bola aka space and i got his brother ola who handles all the logistics and everything uh with the sport of boxing so he can focus on boxing himself so let's just go ahead and introduce my man bola bola thanks for coming on the show man i appreciate you giving me some time go ahead and introduce yourself and tell the fans and the viewers a little bit about your background and your story, because you got one. <laughs> yeah, so my name is Bola, a.k.a. Space Ashundairo, and uh, I'm actually about to make my pro debut uh, this, well, next week, May 21st, 
in Dubai, so I'm grateful for that. I started boxing about three years ago, uh, and my first few fights were the Chicago Golden Gloves, and I won that, and I just won it again this year. But I went down in the history of Chicago Golden Glove, of the Chicago Golden Gloves, by winning the division without having to throw a punch. So what happened was I had three fights set up and all my opponents backed out because they knew they were fighting me. So I had to weigh in. I went in to weigh in and all that. But they all backed out because they knew they don't want to get hurt. They knew <laughs> they knew that ain't no point of coming to uh, fight. They didn't want that smoke. They ain't want no smoke. Exactly. They want that. They want that bowl of smoke. Nah, nah, nah. People get hurt, you know, and I don't blame them. You know, hey, if you don't plan on doing this forever, or if you if you're not serious about training, don't come. Don't step in that ring with me because it's over. I try to tell everybody that boxing is one of the most dangerous sports out there. If I ever, I hate to hear fans to my oldest oh, guy as a bum. He suck. He sorry. Hey, I salute any and everybody that lace those gloves up because whether you're good, bad, or in the middle, you're still putting your life on the line every time you yeah. step in that square. And we've lost many. Right before COVID, we had back-to-back -back deaths, uh, yeah. including my man Patrick Day out of New York. And Patrick he was awesome. Day, yeah. Patrick was an awesome dude. We lost so many to the sport of boxing, man. And it's no joke. Boxing is a serious sport, and you can die in the ring or when you get home and go to sleep. So you 18 and 3 as an amateur. Uh, your goal is still to pursue and represent your country, Nigeria, in the 2024 Olympics. Now, boxing fans, here's what you don't understand. Bola can still represent his country, compete as an elite amateur in the 2024 Olympics and still be a pro on the U.S. side of the house. But we can't do it in the U.S. Once a U.S. fighter turns pro from amateur, we can't represent the Olympics in an amateur status anymore as Bola can. So he's living the best of both worlds. So he will be having his pro debut May 21st in beautiful Dubai. What a hell of a debut. How did you pull that off, dude? Ola, Ola, how did this happen since... This is your question because you have the logistics. I need to come work for you if you're pulling off these kind of deals. <laughs> uh, I can't. I can't even take the credit. It's uh, we have a great advisor, Tony Simpson. He really puts in good work for us and takes care of us. So uh, we we give all, all all gratitude to Tony. He he helped us pull this one off. Tony is my man. As you know, he's the pops of Sean Simpson, another uh, uh, Olympic alternate, 2012 with Earl Spence and all those guys. Uh, came from another uh, outstanding pedigree in the amateurs, Lil Sean, USS. He, he was a bad boy, you know, and uh, he had a hell of a career. He was on his way to doing big things as well. But the, that that whole Simpson team and Tony uh, is a stand-up dude. He's a gentleman and a scholar in and out of the ring, in, in my own personal opinion. So you couldn't be with a better guy than with my man, T. Yeah. So with that being said, tell us a little bit about this opponent you're going to be facing on on may 21st in dubai uh any concerns uh what type of background does he have in boxing what where is there any comparison that he can even stand up to the likes of bola well in boxing i don't think there is anybody that can stand up to the likes of me to be Woo. honest uh the opponent he has about 12 fights he's actually from ghana uh i don't feel sorry for him he's he's gonna take this beating uh he, he signed up for it and he's getting paid for it. So he's he's gonna he's gonna get what I dish out to him. So uh yeah, so we're fighting in Dubai. He's from Ghana. Um that's that's about pretty much all I know about him. I don't know how tall he is or anything. So you you don't know much about him since, yeah, since you guys are fellow countrymen and all you don't really have a, a history of him personally. No. Uh, no. Okay. Now I read a little bit about your bio and how you are doing some 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 great things you want to be you want to use your boxing platform to help the growth and resources for your country to get better uh for all the different many talents that you guys have there because there's a lot of gems there and talent and diamonds in the yeah. rough that people don't even know or hear about and they're world champions right now people don't even know about <laughs> it and could come yeah. here and very well take over the boxing scene in multiple yeah. weight classes, if you will. Yeah. So I know you want to yeah. do that for your country. 
and have those resources and not just for sports and athletes and athletics, but education and everything abroad that you can help better your country and your fellow countrymen and women. Tell us, tell exactly. us a little bit about where, where you're headed with that. Oh, and by the way, I didn't mention fans that Bola is a, a, a actor, if you will. And he's been in some yeah. top movies, if you will. And he's, he's uh, played in Chirac. Uh, he's also played, what's the fr friends? What's it called? The friends, family and lovers and love. He's been in that. So tell us a little bit about where you're going to take this platform of boxing for Africa, for West Africa, for Ghana, for Nigeria, all of that. What are you, what are you looking to do? Are you the next Mandela? So you, know, <laughs> you know, Mandela's Mandela, you know, but I am going, when people mention Mandela, they will mention my name too. That's Ooh. for sure. When it comes to uh, world leaders or uh, African leaders and whatnot. So yes, everything that I do, including the boxing, all goes back to uh, Africa, West Africa in particular, or uh, that's what we're focusing on right now. So, you know, in Africa, in Nigeria particularly, if you, let's say someone gets hurt, let's say they get shot, you can go to the hospital and they'll reject you because you don't have money. But that won't happen in America, you know, uh, if if they can treat that trauma, they're gonna treat it there. They're not gonna. They'll worry about uh, the and bill you later. later. Exactly. Yeah, but there. Oh, you ain't got the money. Nah, we can't see you. You know, no so money, that's you the, die. Uh, <laughs> you die. Exactly. So that's the difficulties we're facing over there. So we we want to actually, my brother and I, we want to bring more funds, more awareness to Africa as a whole to the educational system, to the healthcare system and whatnot. We've even uh, partnered with uh, my uncle, who's a chairman of a local government in uh, uh, Lagos, the state. We partnered with him and we did a medical outreach program where we um, provided medicine and doctors and nurses to the uh, citizens of the- During the, of during the, the pandemic, I heard government. you and you started that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you yep. and your brother, you guys started that up. Yeah, yeah. So then uh, we prescribed drugs to them, let them see the doctors, and gave them referrals to hospitals and whatnot. So th those are the type of things we want to do uh, concerning West Africa. We, we need to build up, and the time is now. We have all the resources. We just need to pull together the resources and work in one on one accord. Awesome. That's that's good stuff, man. And you know. Um, uh, Manny Pac, man, Pacquiao is doing the same for his folks and his people and his countrymen yeah. in the Philippines. And I just feel like yeah. when if you're making it and you're on that platform, like you said, you should give back. Everybody that's making that money should give back because we all came from nothing to something. Right now, you got to spread the wealth and share that and help your your countrymen, men, women, children, and help them uplift themselves and rise above all of that poverty. Yeah. And do whatever you can to get your country and governors and, and your government to listen and do more so you can do better for your people. Yeah. Now, exactly. Ola, tell us a little bit, Ola, about where uh, when 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 Bola picked this sport up three years ago, what, what, what was you guys' vision? Did you think he would get this big in such little time? Because three years is nothing. And he's 18 and three. Now he's turning pro and he's doing it in good fashion in Dubai. Where, where, where was the vision, and then now what is the vision moving forward? Um, let me go back to something my father always used to tell us when we were younger. He said, anything we do, it doesn't matter what it is, we must be the best in it. It doesn't matter what, what we do. If we choose it, we have to be the best. So three years ago, my brother went into um, bodybuilding. Mm. started bodybuilding we went into the natural bodybuilding instead of the npc because we weren't into using all the enhanced the uh, enhanced drugs and all that Pants and all that exactly so we went into the natural bodybuilding <laughs> first year first year he went into each show he went into he was winning each show each show because when we do some we're gonna be the best in it you feel me Second show, he wins. Third show, he wins. He gets to Olympia, the top of the top. Olympia, 
gets on stage, literally flat out the best. Killed it. it I'm talking about killed the, killed the, this is his first year. Killed wow. the, and they cheated him. They cheated him because it was his first year in there. He didn't pay his due. There's a lot of politics. You wasn't deserving so soon. Exactly. All these other folks been in it for years. Uh, Bola, they was hating on you, brother. Exactly. <laughs> I'm talking about even after they cheated, they still drug tested him afterwards to make sure. They like, nah, like, <laughs> we ain't no way you came up it like. You on something. <laughs> <laughs> you on you on something. Like we got we got right. that we made you that we gave you this this position, but it is what it is. We was like, all right. And it I, it, it kind of hurt us because this was something that we wanted to go far in and, and take up. And after that we was like, nah, we, we wanted to we had a friend that um hit us up, I think the day the day after the competition and was uh, and suggested that Bola go into boxing. His name is Evans. And we was like, boxing, that's a sport where you really you really can't get cheated if you knock all of your opponents out. <laughs> Ain't no way you can't get cheated if you knock everybody out. Right. That, it was from that day. The day after his competition, it was from that day. We was like, fuck it, he's going into boxing. And since that day, he started training, and God has just been providing everything along the way. Every single step, God has just been providing. And he good all the time, ain't he? Mm-hmm. All the time. All the time. He, yeah. he may not come when we call him, but he'll be there right on time. You can believe Every that reason he so so i'm not even mad that they cheated him because if they didn't we'll still be doing bodybuilding instead and let me of say this bodybuilding wasn't your purpose exactly this is your purpose boy exactly that's why he had to take you away from that to put you in the position that you're in exactly God he is... closed that little bitty closet door and opened up this big old vault <laughs> i'm telling you you did and your your riches and your wealth and and everything is is your path and your steps have already been made, brother. Mm -hmm. All Amen. you gotta do is keep your head up and walk proud. Amen. And and, and be like Samson and Delilah and and knock knock everything down like the jawbone of an ass, which is these. Mm -hmm. I you really believe in something called destiny. I truly believe in it. <clears throat> Man, you about to shake up this heavyweight division, brother. You know, it's always that one that's up and coming and they don't know who the hell you are until you get in the ring and as soon as they don't know who you are they be like oh yeah we're fighting shit no biggie as soon as they get in there they be like who the, where did y'all find this guy named bola mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying and then now all of a sudden you done built this name up and now you're gonna be in the likes of uh the the big punches like the tyson furies and the deontay the bronze bomber wilders and lennox lennox lewis and you know, I can see you becoming heavyweight champ of the world because I'm sure that's your your uh your 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 goal, your purpose, and that's where all your drive and motivation is coming from, man. And then I, I heard you on the uh, Carl Nelson show, Radio One, the same network that Steve Harvey, Ricky Smiley, and all them guys is on. And you you know you spoke highly about uh, uh, the continent of Africa and uh, the motherland and how much love you had for her, Africa. And that uh, he asked you what was the difference between acting and boxing and which one did you like more? Uh, what was the preparation like for boxing and acting? And you said it was they basically was the same because you get to do what you like to do. And that's to be on stage, on center stage, in front of a big audience doing your thing. <clears throat> so how do, you, how do you feel about uh, going into this fight? How was training camp? Because you guys trained at where? Taylor Park, if I'm correct. Still with us, Bola? Did you freeze up on me? Yeah, he looks like he's frozen. Frozen. You guys trained in Taylor Park, correct? Can't hear him. His volume. Can't hear you. We can't hear you. Turn your volume. You on mute? Did you hit mute? Can we hear? I can't hear you. Turn your volume. Yeah, I wonder if he on mute. Did he accidentally hit mute? It might be a connection problem. He might need. He might need to go out and come back in. 
I'm going to text him right quick. Stay with us, fans. We ain't going nowhere. My man Bola having some technical issues, if you will. I'm just telling him no volume, Ola. Mm-hmm. So you could go ahead until uh until he's checking his text messages. Do you you guys are currently training in uh Taylor Park? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's training at Taylor Park right now. That's who, where he, who do you guys work with over there? Like uh Big Nate, Nate the Snake, and yeah. my man Jazzy Jeff Mason. Yes, sir. Yes, yeah. sir. And they're both they're both gonna be with us in Dubai this coming weekend. That's so. gonna be uh that's gonna be awesome. I know Jazzy Jeff personally. I know Nate. Uh, you know, I, I worked with Montel Griffin, uh, Chicago's own two-time lightweight champ and uh, former Olympian, if you will. Where I worked with David Reed, the American Dream. Uh, so yeah, you know, I, I'm, I'm excited for this fight, man. This is—are is, they going to be streaming this fight? How can the fans watch Bola on May 21st? Still there? You still there, Bola? Yeah. All right. You back. I tried to see a, a text bowler to get off and come back in. I don't know. He might not be reading his text messages. Well, yeah. Um, I'm sorry. What was your question? Jazzy, you, I said that's going to be awesome that Jazzy Jeff and Nate the Snake is going to oh, be. Yeah. There. I was saying um, it's going to be on pay-per-view. Okay, it's gonna be streamed through Fight yeah. F I T E. Yeah. And what? How much? How much is it to to stream it, uh, Ola? Um, I'm not too sure about that. I haven't gotten that information yet, just yet. Okay. But I'm sure it won't break the bank. So. Yeah, every- I, I want to say it's probably gonna be somewhere around 15 bucks. Yeah. 14.99. Yeah. Ish, something where uh, along those lines. Mm-hmm. So. Uh, how what 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 has sparring been like? Sparring partners because Bola's pretty big. I bet y'all had to get some serious dudes in there to work with him. Yeah, yeah. It's it's honestly in Chicago, it's pretty difficult to find sparring because people are just afraid to even spar Bola. They're 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 literally scared to spar him. So it, it's hard to find sparring. So if anything, we have to get guys from out of town. <clears throat> Yeah. We have to get guys from out of town to come spar him. But, yeah, the sparring's been good. He's not going to have no problems in this fight. We honestly, we looking like, we looking at 10 fights down from now, honestly. <laughs> we looking at the bigger guys. Like, where, 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 do you, where do you see you guys at, Ola, by the end of the year? Where would you like to be fight number wide? 5-0, and 6-0, oh, and oh, or what? Yep, you got it. You got it. Our, our goal is at least five fights a year at least five fights a year we're trying to climb the ladder quick because we ain't got no time to waste yeah he got you want to fast track him anyway and uh he's right where he, he, he needs to be and we physically. ready we ready to fight the good guys we're not trying yeah. to be out here fighting bums and nah we want right. to fight right. the good guys and get them out the way right he want to he want to he want to fight the upper echelon uh competition and get to the big money stakes up uh, Exactly. He want he want to get to the Kentucky Derby of boxing. Exactly. <laughs> the world championship, baby. Oh, uh, because that's honestly that's where that the his skill level that's where he deserves to be, at his skill level right now. Just three years in. When it's- you guys when you found out the fight had shifted from Ghana, his hometown, and then changed over to Dubai, do you feel like uh, Ghana would have been uh, perfect for his first fight? to be at home with all his countrymen and the women and children and everything. And that platform would have said a lot right there at home would have set the tone. I mean, honestly, we, we felt kind of disheartened at first cause we were looking forward to it, you know, with the fan base and everything. Exactly. Uh, home base, but you know what? God does everything for a reason. So, we're not really mad. We know there's a reason why it's in Dubai. So we're going to take it however it comes. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, uh, I, and I'm going to be, <clears throat> I'm definitely going to be watching. Uh, 
but I, I wish I was I wish I was gonna be heading over there with you guys and cover it, cover Bola and do all his interviews like from fight week all the way up to the press conferences, his way in, uh, the behind the scenes in the locker room on fight night and talking to the team and even after the fight. That's yeah. what I want to do. So maybe, maybe I'm gonna have to see what, what the promoters think about doing something like that. If we can have like his own personal uh, media guy, you know, that would, that would be cool. Cause I, I definitely would blow it up, do him some justice. You know what I mean? Right. Uh, this is, this is what I do. I've been in boxing over 40 some years. I've, I've been around all the elite pros. I've done work for Layman Brewster, uh, mm. relentless Layman Brewster. You know, like I said, I worked for Montel Griffin, David Reed, and, uh, and, I, and then I love to be uh, able to follow along uh, with Bola's career and definitely be a play a part uh, in, in watching him climb this ladder of success. And then whatever else in addition he does on the way, humanitarian wise as right. well. Uh, because I think I think he's good for boxing. I think he's definitely good for you guys, his country, and all those that reside over there, men, women, and children. So. Definitely, and I'm sure we're gonna you're gonna have that opportunity once he starts um, having fights. And, yeah, and, once he start climbing that ladder, uh huh, he'll he'll be in more uh, control and in charge, and he'll be a shot caller where he can say exactly. who what, and where I want with me, blah blah blah. Exactly. Uh, I, I I was hoping that he would have came back on because uh, he I'm, we were talking some good stuff with him. I'm sure he's trying to. Uh, he might he might be in a bad bad spot or a bad area but if he doesn't make it back on we can also set up another uh interview with him once you guys arrive in dubai and get situated and then do another one right there in country right at the fight site where all the hype and hoopla is going on at and get him right there and catch him even more while that adrenaline just right you know what i mean and then we're, we're getting back on the show and have you guys come on, you know, and, and, and have Jeff and, and Nate and Tony and all y'all can just be on here once and we can right. just break bread. You know what I mean? But, hey, man, I want to I congratulate you guys. Uh, good luck. Much success. Come May 21st in Dubai. Uh, my man, Bola, a.k.a. Space. Pronounce the last name again. Osundero. 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 Yeah. Yeah. We'll be, we'll be following you. Everybody who don't know. Follow my man Bola. He's gonna be the next big thing in the heavyweight professional boxing division here in the U.S. And he's gonna represent Ghana uh, in the 2024 Olympics, if you will. So big things coming, uh, and, and and he's probably gonna get even more offers to be in more films, if you will, too. What's yeah. going on with the film side? Does he still get offers? But right now he's putting that on the back burner and focusing on getting boxing going. Exactly, exactly. Um, we're getting all types of. Um offers honestly and right now we're just trying to focus on the boxing and make sure that comes to fruition first that's the most important thing right now we can't serve two masters so, all right there you go brother i like that hey ola tell them real quick make sure they keep watching brawler sports media for me yeah you guys watch brawler sports media the best and the okay. only thing you need to be watching we out here we love you guys. And if you guys want to uh, continue following us, you can check us out on Instagram at Team Able. That's A-B-E-L. Anything on uh, YouTube channels, on Facebook? What about Twitter? Yeah, all of our... all of our um, Everything's Team Able. Able, yes, sir. All social media platforms, followers, Team Able. And you will follow. Bowler will come up, pictures and everything. So make sure you hit like, follow, subscribe, whatever the case needs to be. Let's push him. Let's get him out there. This is going to be the next heavyweight champ of the world. Hey, Ola, my man Bola, we're going to put this together when you get back in country in Dubai. Me, you, uh, Ola, and your team. Uh, I know you was having some technical difficulties. It's okay, baby. We got we got enough from you, uh, enough juice out of this interview, if you will. And I just want to thank you guys, man, for coming on the show. I appreciate you giving up your time and your day. It is Saturday. I'm sure you guys been grinding in the gym. Now you're like, hell, he's talking too much. I'm ready to go eat. And chill. <laughs> <laughs> so, hey, Ola, until next time, baby, let's go, champ. It's uh, blessings. All right. Peace. <laughs>
smaller is baby. Smaller is baby.